It's taken a while, but I think I've finally found the perfect set of golf clubs for people who want to get into golf. Oh, and it uh, comes with a nice little bag too. Let's do it, and let's do it now. I'm not gonna drop it because I'm giving them away. What about the eight slash nine I had? There's a big old gap in the middle there. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, uh, I'm gonna cut all the pleasantries today. Guys, we are giving these away, um, not until I test them and see just exactly how far I can hit this seven club set. This is a golf set that you can buy from Decathlon here in the UK or in Europe. I'm not sure if you have them over in America. It is by Inesis and the idea being that it just covers all your distances for people who are wanting to get into golf. So as you'll see here, it comes with, if we can open this lovely presentation box, it comes with, start out with, a big dog. We'll show you this in a second. A wonderful looking putter that could well be a Scotty Cameron or an Odyssey or something way more expensive. We'll get to the price. And then these are what really interest me. You get a hybrid as well, but we'll talk about that again in a second. These, these are what, you're done. Now these are what really interest me. Let's get to the point. You see, yes, you get the driver, you get the hybrid, you get the putter, and you even get a couple of wedges. You get a pitching wedge and a sand wedge, as you can see here, but that's not really, why oh, golf was so hard to get in a bag? But that's not really the mega interesting thing about this kind of half set. So this set costs 149 pounds with the bag. I think that's incredible value. And before I start talking even more, I'm gonna to get to the point of this video. Guys, we're giving this set away. All you have to do, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please make sure you do. You also have to like this video. Comment below golf, G-O-L-F, very original I know. And also go and follow the guys at Decathlon UK on Instagram, because that's where the draw is gonna be made. Now, have you ever seen irons like this before? Yes, they're wide sold. Yes, they've got big heads on them, but um, there's something not quite, there's something a bit different about these clubs. And that's what I think is the best part. Because you see, 2020 has been a difficult year. It's fair to say it's not been the best year on the planet for most of us. But golf's actually seen a bit of a resurgence because social distancing, people can't play different sports. People are spending more time outside the only problem with golf is, um, what is it? Oh yeah, it's uh, still uh, way too expensive for a lot of people who want to take the game up. That's where these golf clubs come in. So if you're starting to play golf, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. The guys who already play golf, us, we're not as good as what you think we are. And you're not as bad as what you think you are. So if you're watching this video and you're trying to get into golf, you want to get into golf, you can't quite afford a 14 club set. You think that you need 14 clubs to play good golf. Hopefully we're gonna put that to bed. So in this video, we're gonna see how far, pretty much how far I can hit these golf clubs before we give them away. Also guys, if you want to see me go out and play golf around Huddersfield Golf Club, 18 holes with this in assist half set, I mean, they're not the most appealing looking golf club for maybe a pro or a low handicapper, but that's neither here nor there because 149 pounds, it's basically gonna get you into the game. Guys, 2000 likes on this video and I will go and play 18 holes with these clubs. I'll document it and I'll keep score. Sand wedge. See now, that's, um, we're gonna look at all the numbers at the end, but I'm not, spoiler alert, that first one, was pretty good sound wise and feel wise and only one shot in but i expected less so winning also that nice big forgiving club head means i'm more likely to maybe hit in the middle of it so we're not going to spend too long on the wedges we all know you want to see how far the driver goes i haven't even shown you the driver yet under the head cover you're going to have to wait for that i mean that just feels delightful and the consistency level around those two shots was uh, borderline ridiculous so we're gonna hit one more then we'll move up to the pitching wedge and the big thing for me guys so I'm not sure if you share this belief but how often do you go out and play golf just with a handful of clubs and play your best golf ever um, so if you had clubs that were meant to be played that way would you play your best golf ever forever that'd be cool wouldn't it and I do just think for 150 quid I mean you really you, you'd pay more than that for some green fees Right, so that's three shots hit. 
I'm not going to spoil it. The numbers are exactly the same for three shots. So the consistency level is there. These clubs are available in stiff shafts or graphite shafts. As you'll see, we've got them in the light graphite shaft option. It's a lovely black graphite shaft, actually. It looks really, really impressive. And I can't help but think these would be the perfect Christmas present for anyone who's thinking about getting into golf, trying to get into golf. Maybe have a hand-me-down set that's way too heavy for them, a junior but who hasn't quite got the clubs that are right for them, because the specs you can get these in, they do vary quite a lot, so you can probably get something that matches close to what you need. And that pitching wedge is probably as good as my bladed pitching wedge would. I need to get away from this because basically my what's in the bag next year is gonna consist of about four clubs. Look at this video. There's definitely something liberating about having that massive surface area, that really kind of boxed off shape, and then the uh, that nice, easy swinging graphite shaft in there. Right, this is getting ridiculous now. That's the sand wedge and the pitching wedge done. This is, so that was quite interesting. The numbers, to be honest, are, um, the numbers are, okay, the numbers are good. The numbers are where I would expect them to be. What about the eight slash nine iron or the eight ninth iron if we're reading it as a maths equation? Anyway, so we'll take this off. I apologize for the person who wins this, but I can't test it with these on. So that's, even looks good like that, doesn't it? Every club looks good taking the wrapper off. So I know that one thing that would be really handy on this video would be to know the lofts and I can't quite work them out. I will do some digging and I'll put them on the bottom of the screen now for there. So a little bit of technology, basically there's a large sole optimized insulation. So that means it's got a lot of surface area to be more forgiving. I'm basically reading these straight off the box here because you can't really find much more on them on the internet. It has a lowered center of gravity for higher trajectories. So you get that in a lot of irons, don't you? You get that in a lot of high spec irons as well. It also has a large club face tolerance for off center shots. Get in. That's exactly what I need. So eight slash nine iron, how far should this go? An eight iron for me is around a 150 club and nine irons are 140. Maybe eight's kind of 1455. So I think 150 here would be a result. I've struck that really well, 153 yards. I'm not going to drop it because I'm giving them away and it might break. But check that out for some numbers. Oh, yes. And I do hope you're all getting the premise of this video. I hope you're all understanding that I'm trying to enjoy this. And by trying, I mean, uh, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this. You can enjoy golf for cheap. You can enjoy golf if it's not a brand name. You can enjoy golf with a half set. I feel like maybe I'm getting a bit too emotional there, but looking down at these, I'll show you this eight slash nine iron now. It looks, it looks big, it looks forgiving, but it looks great, it looks brilliant. That was a miss hit and that's got exactly the same again. What am I doing playing difficult golf clubs? This is going better than planned, as you can probably imagine. I'm, I'm kind of running away with myself a little bit here, but that's okay, that's what Christmas is about, isn't it? Right, see that one was a funny one. I felt the shaft go a little bit. I mean, it's still straight down there. It's 149 yards. It's robbed me of four yards. It's just not the end of the world, is it? It's just, you can go back in there. Probably a great time to tell you about the putter as well. We're not gonna hit any putts with this. I'll even leave it in the wrapper for whoever wins, but that, I mean, that just looks so good, doesn't it? I've tested so many putters over the years and uh, they've been way more expensive and way worse looking than this. I'll tell a lie, if we go out on the golf course with it, I will take it off, but a putter cover would have been nice as well. Come on, putter can go in the, uh, in the bottom one there. Right, now we're on to the six slash seven, and that came off a lot nicer than the other ones. So I always review the wrapper cover. I don't know why I do that. I apologize if it annoys you. I know a lot of things I do annoy people, so yeah. Um, six slash seven iron. I would expect this to go on the basis that the eight iron, nine iron went 150. 165, which is about a seven iron number for me, maybe a little bit more, although it's not gonna be a strong lofted seven. Oh, no, six, yeah, maybe, I'm talking out loud now, maybe 170, maybe. Maybe 170, maybe, and I'm still, uh, still well aware you all wanna see what this driver looks like, and I do as well. I've honestly not seen it yet. This is the first time I've had them out the box. I said I wouldn't drop them, but that's insane. Um, 
Yeah. Hmm. So I should probably say as well, guys, um, this isn't a paid review. This isn't a paid advert. Not that any of my reviews are paid. Um, it's not a razor. It's not a Surfshark. It's not a, it's not an ad. Um, but that's very, very, very impressive. Is it just for beginners? Or is it for you people who, how many of you guys who are proper golfers, proper golfers, I don't know who that is exactly, but how many of you find that your seven iron goes the same as your six iron and your five iron goes the same as your, and, and things like that. So many people who come for lessons struggle with that. Would this just simplify it for people? And if you're not bothered about a handicap or score particularly, would it make it more enjoyable? I think potentially it could. I think there is definitely room for that for people who aren't wanting to spend a load of money. Remember, you can get these in steel shafts as well. Right, either I'm swinging really well today or this is getting ridiculous because that's gone 191 yards. Now, obviously, if I took these out on the golf course, I would struggle hitting distances. I hear what you're all saying. 150 yards and 190 yards. There's a big old gap in the middle there. And that's where for your more accomplished golfer, no, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that really. But that's where for the golfer who maybe does hit shots more consistently, you would struggle with the distances a little bit. Let's go one more with this, then hybrid, then drive, then we'll wrap it up. Remember guys, if you want to win this exact set, comment below golf, hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, and go follow Decathlon Golf UK on Instagram. That's where the draw is going to be. And I tell you what, if you're local, you can come and pick them up and we'll have nine holes. How's that? I always love doing that with people. If you're not local, you can fly and get them, whichever. 190 again. The dispersion's ridiculous. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna tell you that now. The dispersion is quite ridiculous. Let's have a look at this hybrid. This should go quite a long way, actually. Now this is a four slash five hybrid. Um, and it looks, oh God, it look, I'm gonna lie. It looks hideous. <laughs> uh, so apologies for people who were really, I mean, you'll see what it's almost got like a, a turbulator slash non-turbulator slash like a seat belt on it kind of thing. It, it, it is what it is for the price, isn't it? Not my cup of tea, that. How far does it go? Well, that didn't sound the best. I mean, performance-wise, performance-wise, really struggling to split any hairs here. Might have to take the old jacket off for the driver in a second. It's really not doing it for me, the look of this at all left that's left no no Four left oh, i missed him we're okay we're okay last shot before we hit a driver can we get this up there at 220 for a uh, for a uh, four slash five hybrid i know 216 but it's impressive it's so impressive i'm not going to beat around the bush anymore but what does it look like um oh nothing's perfect is it we've got a, a real strange i don't know why that's there like surely it would have been easier to make it without that than with it maybe aerodynamics or something you'll see that we have got it in high launch obviously this is more a set for maybe beginners people who are struggling to get the ball up in the air let's have some fun with it we'll hit three see what we can get it out there at it doesn't look amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't look amazing, but for the price, the I, I'd pay. You know what? I'd pay the money for the bag and the irons. Maybe the putter as well. I didn't have the confidence with that. Spinning at five thousand, which is interesting. So, guys, while I'm slaving away and trying to find the dot on this ball. While I'm slaving away over these drivers, guys, get in the comments below, what do you think to the set? What do you think to the idea? What do you think to the price? And what do you think to the giveaway? I hope you guys win. Well, you can't all win, but I hope someone local wins and then we come and get a game. That's always fun. And that didn't go very far. Oof. <laughs> okay, maybe the shaft isn't right. We'll say the shaft isn't right. Um, yeah, that, probably the only club hasn't well the hybrid worked okay didn't it this just isn't going this would i would struggle with this on the golf course maybe i have to take the speed out of it and just just plot it yeah that's uh that's over in alex etcher's territory that one so guys that is it's a set of golf clubs i'd say full set but it's not for 149 pounds brand new 
How do they perform? Oh, I can't wait to show you this. So unfortunately the driver, we're going to start with the negative and then build our way up. Yeah, the driver wasn't amazing dispersion wise. We'll go all the way through the hybrid. I'm taking that for a hybrid all day long, to be fair. Pretty consistent, one bad one, sort of. Uh, nearly got someone. The 6-7 iron, I mean, if that's dispersion, they're going to be on the green, aren't they? I'm well aware we could have hit more shots for this test. To be honest, the test is more a bit of fun. I wouldn't be gaming these clubs, obviously, but I just thought I'd hit them, really, just to show you guys how far they can go. I'm thinking if I hit them too much with the shafts that's in them, the raw power could... Um, I'd just injure myself really more than anything, so I didn't want to hit too many shots. Let's have a look at the 8 and 9 iron, and you can see there they are on a piece of string. Now, some people say it's only an 8 and 9 iron, don't get too uppity about it, but I'm taking the positives there. Pitching wedge, again, not too bad, and sand wedge, it's just a wedge, isn't it? What about the numbers? Now, I haven't taken any shots out here. The driver was a bit disappointing. It was really disappointing, to be fair. You can see the spin numbers averaging at 4.8, so no good for me there. But we'll stay on the spin and we'll look at the hybrid averaging 4.5 and 214 yards total. That's very, very impressive. Then we've got 189 for the six and seven iron. That was spinning at 5,046. Then we've got 152 carry with the eight and nine iron. That was spinning quite well at 7,403. And the wedges will stay over this side of the board, 8,000 and nine and a half thousand respectively. So as gaps there, Guys, comment below, could we work with that and can we go and shoot some good numbers with that? I think it would predominantly come down to how good are you at half shots? How good are you at maybe trying to work some shots in? Um, so that's been a bit of a review on these Inesis um, half set. For me, the perfect Christmas present for anyone trying to get into golf in 2020. I know there's a lot of you out there. You may be wondering why I've had this bag on my back, why it's not still on my back. Um, I might go and play a few holes. The video is definitely going to get 2,000, isn't it? So, likes, that is. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I, I really enjoyed it, to be fair. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button below, whether or not you do want to win the irons. That way you won't miss any of the content I've got coming up for you over the new year. Um, leave us a like. I really, again, I, I'm just going to keep saying I really enjoyed it. Apart from that, guys, I hope you're all well, and I'll um, see you tomorrow. Bye.